I started, uh, I went out to a party once and uh, there was a guy that knew how to make music and on a computer and I thought that was really cool and I'd been listening to um, dance music for a long time so uh, I asked if I could make some music with him and from there on I got hooked and uh, started to do it all by myself. Uh, when I started uh, the whole scene was really run by about two labels and it was only really the UK. Um, these days it's an international form of music. Um, nearly every established artist has their own label. Recently it's been through a bit of a strange period in, in England and around the rest of the world where the music's become a bit cheesy and a bit uh, uh, there's this whole onslaught of jump up which everyone's listening to which um, I think if it stays like that which I don't think it will um, more and more people will won't take it seriously but uh, I think there's enough producers in the scene that really love the music that will will keep it going and uh, so yeah, there should be drum and bass for many years to come. I just love rhythm, I love beats. Um, drum and bass is a very open form of music. You can use any type of music in, in it. Uh, and it's what I grew up listening to. So, Well, I grew up listening to hardcore, which is where drum and bass came from. I like the underground drum and bass and a lot of the more mainstream stuff I can't really relate to because it just sounds like pop music to me. I agree with Fotec, yeah. I think drum and bass, the only real rule you have is it has to be around 170 beats per minute. Uh, and other than that, anything goes. Oh, God.